Hi everybody, just wanted to do a, a video on some very disturbing news that has just um, broke worldwide. And this headline is Donald Trump says US has shot down Iranian drone in the Strait of Hamas. And this is in retaliation to the Iranian government shooting down a US drone about a week ago. But this is troubling news because the fact that Donald Trump or the United States has made the decision to shoot down an Iranian drone in retaliation means that it is an act of not just increasing the tension between Iran and the United States of America or the US but it is an act that I feel and I'm sure most experts around the world feel is an act that pretty much means there is little room for reversal or little room for um, negotiation. And I just wanted to sort of show you um, some news articles that it says that Trump said the USS Boxer destroyed the drone on Thursday after the aircraft threatened the ship by flying within 1,000 yards of it. Now what it really boils down to is if the, the drone was actually in the territory or territory of Iran or outside of the territory of Iran or the waters and it says here that Donald Trump has said a US war strip destroyed an Iranian drone in the Strait of Hormez Trump said the USS Boxer destroyed the drone on Thursday after the aircraft threatened the ship by flying within one yards, 1,000 yards of it. Trump said it was the latest hostile action by Iran and called on other countries to condemn Iran and protect their own ships. What this means for a lot of the world is the tensions have increased and that It now forces a situation, an intense situation, an escalated situation between Iran and the United States, which really puts World War Three firmly on the map. It says Iran seizes, and in retaliation to that, within an hour or so, Iran seizes foreign tanker with 12 crew accused of smuggling oil. So immediately... Iran has now taken unprecedented steps to further retaliation and also to protect the Strait of Hamas, which is Iranian territory. And the article reads that Iran has seized a foreign tanker with 12 crew accused of smuggling oil in the Persian Gulf. The country state TV says the seizure comes as tensions mount between the US and Iran over the unraveling nuclear deal between Tehran and world powers and days after an oil tanker based in United Arab Emirates disappeared off trackers in Iranian national waters. The Panamanian flagged oil tanker MT Rhea stopped transmitting its location overnight and Sunday 
and it says that Iran State TV did not identify the seized vessel but said it was intercepted on Sunday in south of Iran's Larak Island in the Strait of Hamas. The report added that the anchor had 12 foreign crew members on board and was involved in smuggling around 1 million litres of fuel from Iranian smugglers to foreign customers. And that's why Iran has taken seizure of this foreign tanker with 12 crew accused of smuggling oil. And in the last few hours, the Iran foreign minister reported to make nuclear offer and the US was, ex was skeptical. So they've act Iran has actually made an offer, a nuclear offer, and the US has been skeptical and somehow now the US has made, taken a decision to shoot down an Iranian drone. And the article says, Iran on Thursday offered to ratify a document prescribing more intrusive inspections of its nuclear program if the United States abandoned its economic sanctions. The Guardian newspaper reported on Thursday if a in a proposal that drew US skepticism. Another article by the Express and Star it said that the Iran crisis, US vows to defend ships after tanker seizure, expert says something shady. Now the something shady is obviously, you know, open to um, opinion, but for this tanker to go missing off the radar, then for Iran to find the tanker with 12 foreign people on board and that's why it's made its seizure and then now for the US to have shot down the Iranian drone um, in the Strait of Hormuz which is Iranian territory this is not good news, not good news for the world, not good news for trade, not good news for um, currency trading and just generally economic, social and political relations. This article says that Moscow and Paris now urge to preserve the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, Rouhani talks to Macron and it reads Iran president says in phone call Europe must bring about a ceasefire to Trump economic war on Tehran. Tehran. Russian President Vladimir Putin and French leader Emmanuel Macron agreed Thursday on the need to consolidate efforts to save the Iran nuclear deal following months of soaring, soaring tensions. Now, if anyone in the world who thinks that they can ignore such news, such serious and catastrophic news, I mean, this is this is this is very very serious situation, because for the Iran and U.S. to go to war would involve China, Russia, North Korea, Japan, and the U.K., Germany, France, and virtually every single oh, country in the world would be affected. It's very, very serious information, very serious news, very serious situation. And I think anyone who thinks that they would not be affected by it needs to really think and do the re their research 
and study the situation because everyone on planet earth would be affected everyone everyone we're talking about nuclear weapons nuclear war of mass proportion the article also says that Europe must accelerate its efforts to realize Iran's legitimate interests and bring about a ceasefire in Washington's economic war against Iran Rouhani told Macron according to the government's official website Iran is determined to keep all options for preserving the landmark treaty and there's another article from this is money it says putting a macron call for efforts to save Iran deal and it says here world war three preparation how u.s intelligence exposed revolutionary russian weapon russia is stepping up its game in preparation for world war three so this is not hearsay this is not fake news this is reality of the situation and a global situation that concerns all countries and all people it says russia is stepping up its game in preparation for a world war three scenario with a mysterious nuclear powered weapon that has the u.s slightly nervous yesterday it was claimed that Vladimir putin has a secret plan to launch a war on europe that could be true or false while the rest of the world is distracted it says that Heinrich Brass a retired German lieutenant general said while NATO's attention is focused on issues world leaders have deemed more pressing the Kremlin is putting a regional war with members states with member states right under their noses with the aid of nuclear weapons president putin may turn this his attention turn this attention sorry to his six new russian strategic weapons unveiled in march 2018 again like i said it, it it's it's something's definitely going on as to what's going on who knows but it's a very serious situation involving um, leading countries and, and, and virtually everyone on planet Earth. CNN, CNN has just reported that the US is preparing to send hundreds of troops to Saudi Arabia amid Iran tensions. That or this new headline alone shows how serious the situation is. In all honesty, I think that Trump's gone nuts. I think he's absolutely gone nuts. And I mean nuts. Because this is a very serious and volatile situation. You, you literally got your hand on the button and you're deciding to, to press that button towards World War Three As to reversal of any decision it will take a lot of countries and a lot of political discussion to reverse this whole situation and it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the following weeks and months which way this whole scenario and circumstance goes the article reads the Trump administ administration is reinforcing its controversial military relationship with Saudi Arabia by preparing to send hundreds of troops to the country amid increasing tensions with Iran. And just last week, Nancy Pelosi and, 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 and Congress has passed some type of law to curtail the powers that Donald Trump has over initiating war or confrontation with Iran 
And then he goes and does this. It's just astonishing. It, it really is astonishing, frightening, disturbing, extremely concerning. And it should be extremely concerning to everyone on planet Earth. Literally, the whole world. Another article, it says, Can Iran nuclear deal be saved? Why does it matter? Then the article reads, The Iran nuclear deal risks collapse in the face of a continued standoff between the United States and Iran. But can the 2015 multilateral agreement be saved at this point and why does it matter? And the article reads, Iran and the United States have been locked in, a, in an escalating war of words in recent weeks as Tehran retaliates against US-imposed economic san sanctions. Tensions rocketed today after Iran said it had seized the foreign vessel and its 12 crew for smuggling fuel in the Gulf. Although Iran's revolutionary guards did not name the country at fault, the latest development follows similar attacks on tankers in recent weeks. Tehran has been in a retaliatory mood since President Donald Trump stepped up its sanctions following the, the downing of a U.S. drone over the Strait of Hamas in June. The, the game of cat and mouse between the two Foes means the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, formerly known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, now hangs by a thread. Now hangs by a thread. And I'll repeat it again. Now hangs by a thread. Russia has intervened to join the JCPOA's other members to try to ease tensions by meeting with France in crisis talks. The Kremlin said in a statement earlier, both sides underlined that the nuclear deal is the most important factor for ensuring security in the Middle East and maintaining the nuclear non-proliferation regime. Now, just to end the video, um, it says that Russia blames U.S. for Iran tensions and warns Trump will face catastrophic consequences. And that's a serious headline. Very serious headline. It says Russia's foreign minister has warned Donald Trump to back away, back away from any escalation of tensions with Iran or face catastrophic consequences now this puts puts the, the citizens of america not just the citizens of america but it's you know in 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 very serious dilemma very serious situation and i'm actually making this video to actually just stress the importance of these events around the world i mean most people will will agree that the world is in a very serious situation not just with the tensions between Iran and the US but also the Brexit situation um, you know also the fact that you know you've got the tensions between the US and China you've got tensions between North Korea and the US it's very 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 troubling very troubling indeed and i think that it's now time you know also with the racism situation internally within america you know in the political landscape as well as outside of the political landscape it's almost as if humans have lost common sense or losing common sense rapidly rapidly even at political and politicians level you know where where is where where are the jf kennedys you know where 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 are the 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 Marth, martin luther kings we need people 
who have common sense with some morals that can sit down and understand that we're, we're, we're a world and a world means that we have people of different nationalities and cultures and race and beliefs and ideologies and philosophies and we need to sit and negotiate on common ground so that we can all live together on this planet and this earth. And I know that it basically, you know, I'm not saying everyone's going to agree all the time or every day, but politicians are appointed no matter what country to make sure and ensure that these things are done. And it's not being done. It's not even being done from, from the fact of a point of racism. It's not being done from the point of equality. It's not being done from the point of, of religion or, or understanding or accepting different cultures and races. And this is the problem at the heart because now you've got right wing, left wing and right wing politics now are penetrating to the point where they see things blindly, almost like a horse with blinkers on, and they only see white, when no one's white. In fact, if you get the white sheet of paper and put it against people who claim to be white, they'll understand, or, and then put a pink piece of paper next to them, they'll actually see that they're actually pink, not white. And there's nobody who's 100% black. So we need to kind of get some laws in place to eradicate racism, eradicate, um, by eradicating racism you'll, you'll limit and reduce this philosophy and this myth and fable that you have white people and you have black people or you have Christian people and, and Muslim people or Islam is, is, is an enemy of Christian when really everyone's just chosen what they believe and people need to respect what people believe and if you don't believe in anything because these things sit at the heart of the matter when it comes to war and tensions because they, 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 they feel that they're crusaders or they feel that Christian should be the main religion of the world or, uh, or Islam should be the main religion of the world. These are causing these political problems when we have to come together no matter what and agree to, to disagree with respect and courtesy. What do you think about the situation between the US and Iran and World War Three? Do you think that this world is, is in danger right now from a political, economic, social standpoint? I think it's time for people to express what they think and what they believe. Please leave your comments below. If you're on YouTube or Twitter or any social media platform, please share, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for listening.